What's going on guys? I'm Dom Strider back in another adventure to find that which time forgot about and today I'm just jumping right into the location and what I'm in right now is actually an abandoned stamp mill. So what exactly is a stamp mill? Usually what uh, stamp mills kind of do they were mining a lot of copper in this area, right? And in order to get the actual copper part out of the rest of um, out of the rest of the mineral, they would take it uh, once they once they actually mined the ore, they take it here to get the actual copper out, and then they do with oh whatever they need to uh, from there with it. But anyway, before we continue with today's adventure, please hit the like button. It really helps this video out a lot. And if you're new and you want to see more places like this, hit subscribe and turn the bell notification to let you know when I come out with a new video. I'm trying to shoot for 100 subscribers for the end of June. And if I reach that goal, I will do a Q&A video for all you guys. But without further ado, let's keep exploring this, uh, this place. All right, so looks pretty gutted out. There's that looks like part of the part of the glass roof. There's probably a lot of uh, there's a lot of cinder brick already down here, and a crap ton of graffiti on the walls. Dang! Oh man! Yeah, it's pretty gutted out. Kind of like uh, the novitiate that I was at a little while ago, but um, yeah, no. We also got a lot of uh, tunnels here. Let's see if we can veer into those and see what we got going on in there. Okay, there's not a lot going on in there, but we got what looks like some kind of piping. Probably sewer, uh, probably sewer piping. There's tunnels like that across this. Uh, there's another tunnel like that over at this wall too. I'm gonna see if I can uh, make my way over and maybe make fun of some of this graffiti while I'm at it. Ray Ray. <laughs> Dang, naughty language, all you people. Jeez. All right, I do gotta be careful when I'm here because of just how much of this there is. I mean, it's, I mean, those are a lot of, you know, loose wires and whatnot, so we gotta be careful. But yeah, over here is a tunnel. Let's see if we can peer, uh, veer into the tunnel. It looks like it caves in pretty inwardly. Oh, that was definitely for sewage. That continued into there. Yeah, let's not more graffiti. All right, it caves in this way. There's a lot of sand. And I don't like sand. Actually, that's a lot of leftover uh, leftover rock, probably from the mining. Some brick, some bricks as well. Yeah, this has been abandoned for quite a long time, but yeah, that's this way. There's another side of it that way. I don't know how far in there I'll be able to go, but I'll take a look. Yeah, this leads really far down. I'm gonna keep going and see how far down I can actually get. Oh, looks like a lot of, uh, this is definitely the sewer. I can tell from both the brickwork and the obvious pipes. Though some of it might have been, uh, might have been actual, this could have actually been for steam too for operating the actual press or the mill or whatever. Yeah, the tunnel just keeps going this way. All right. Pipes. Pipes are about to bar me pretty soon. I'm gonna have to get over on that side. Yep. Careful, watch my step. Yeah, 
I'm thinking that these bigger pipes, especially because uh, pipes, like these smaller ones, the skinnier ones were probably maybe sewer, but these bigger ones were probably actually used to operate the actual. Oh yeah, yeah. This is probably for. This was. Oh, you know what? Actually, this could have been. This could have been, because this is going to lead straight out into the lake. And what it's going to do when it leads out into the lake. Yeah, this is where a lot of the excess sand came from. Yeah. Holy crap. It's a pretty wide tunnel. Jeez, how far does this go? Alright. Yeah, we're definitely getting near water. A lot of the mud is becoming a lot of a lot muddier and that's about as far as I can go but because it's all watery now and I don't have the boots to keep traversing but it keeps going I would love to get actual some good boots and come back here someday so I can actually trudge through the water and keep going through that tunnel let me know if you guys would want to see that but anyway, we're going to get out of the tunnel now. There's really not much else to see on floor one over here, but there's stairs leading up to the other floors. Now I'm gonna have to be careful when I go up there because they don't always, they don't exactly necessarily look that sturdy, but I'm still gonna try to go up there, so I'll see you guys when I do. Well guys, I'm on floor two, num uh, floor number two right now, and it's in worse shape than floor number one was. Let's see if we can let's see if we can still make our way past it. We got some more graffiti on the wall over here. Oh yeah, I was supposed to look for a code or something. No, I don't see any code. Sorry, buddy. If I see it, I'll record it, but... Yeah. Lil Dan. Wonder who Lil Dan is. Alright. Like back there. Looks like even more. Even more. Here. It's like this would have been the, on the way up onto the roof. There's a lot of cars though on the on the highway, so I don't really want to take that way. Just in case. But yeah, I mean oh, hey, it's one piece. Oh my gosh. I didn't like that chill. It was too long. Yeah, look at all these. These were definitely like uh, supports. Well, all those lined up in a row, I bet you that they probably supported like a little slab or something onto it. This might have even supported at one point the main, the main machinery. And all this part of the building has been torn down. Looks like there's some iron over here. Or something. 
Wow, these look like old machinery parts. Got some piping over here. And some scaffolding it looks like here. Sorore Braun. I can't even read it. But yeah, that was a that was a scaffolding that was originally part of it. And up there, looks like the brick wall. Probably probably the uh, the outer wall of it, or what it was built into. And if my eyes don't deceive me, don't deceive me, I think I see the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles up there. We'll have to say hi to them in a little bit, but for right now, let's just keep looking around. All right. Got another entryway here. How far in does this go? Not very far in. Oh wait, what is that? Oh, it looks like another shaft. Shaft that was caved in a long time ago. Dang. Yeah, we got a lot more graffiti on here though. Wild. You know what, this is wild, bro. Yeah, do we got anything on the ground? More iron. Looks like some wood. Wait, no, that's not wood. It just looks like wood, it's more cement. Hmm. All right. Let's keep looking around. Here. Brick wall of some kind. Let's get up there. Definitely brick wall. Ooh, gotta be careful in these parts. All oh, these rocks are loose. <laughs> and that is what happens when you don't get be careful, kids. So always be careful. Yeah. Nice brick wall and it goes. It goes all all the way. There's, uh, there's the Ninja Turtles for you guys. <laughs> I mean, hey, that's a creative way to... Yeah, I, I don't like graffiti, but at least they're creative about it. And not just drawing phallic images. But over, over this way, I know I saw another building. So I'm going to go see if I can check it out. All right, guys, here's the second building. Once again, covered in graffiti. Now, it looks like the doors are open this way. Or windows, I should probably. Actually, no, those are legit doors. The front doors have just been taken out. Let's get it, let's go in there. Take a look at all of this. Support for the stairs. Oh, oh, that's not shady at all. Yeah, lots more graffiti. But yeah, this is the second building, and it's even still got some. Uh, some old support or um, hanging stuff. You know what I'm trying to say. The word's not coming to me. Okay, so the area that I'm in currently right now is actually the second uh, part of the uh, part of the stamp mill. The over there was the first part. That was actually the second stamp mill, I guess, uh, that was constructed, and it was for this area. The first mill that they originally built, I guess, was um, had a bit of a no-no problem because 
One of the things that happens is that the excess sand goes into the lake and whatnot. But what happened with that was that um, they, uh, they, I guess they went past the harbor limits, and that was a big no-no. So they had to kind of, re so they had to kind of re redo it a little bit just so that they fit within the guidelines, and. Um, and that was what happened at that building over here. This one was put in in, 19, in 1894, um, I guess is to be a second facility or add-on or extra piece to it, I guess. But yeah, that only, but that only lasted until 1922 when stuff started closing down around here. And the reason it closed down was just because it was because um, they started investing more into the first building, but by the time that they did that, it was 1929 and the Great Depression happened, so they didn't actually have the funds to support it. So unfortunately, that's, um, yeah, it, it didn't last long after that. I think it came back for a little while during World War II, but then after World War II happened, it just stopped being in production. I don't know how well I'm going to be able to get onto the second and third levels. The way up is pretty sketchy. I'm going to try it, but um, yeah, it, it's pretty sketch. So we'll see, we'll see if I can try to get up there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. That's uh, that's a bit of a nope. I mean, I probably could step on that and whatnot, but I'm carrying carrying a lot of gear and ah. Uh, I, that's ugh, that's too sketchy for me. I hate to chicken out and stuff like that. And I know you guys really wanted to see me be the Prince of Persia, but uh, it's gonna have to be a solid nope from me. Oh, look at this, guys. There's I didn't even notice this part. I guess there's a back way in. Uh, that would be why. Yeah, no. <clears throat> All right. I definitely need to invest in some kind of like waders or something. Some wading boots. Wow. What have we got here? This is definitely part of the old machinery, but what part exactly? Ah, oh, look. I think that might have been one of the uh <clears throat> one of the uh grinding presses or whatever. Pretty hard to tell from here though. But then you got this. Oh, I know what this is. This looks like a conveyor belt. Yeah, all the rocks would have been uh, uh, put on it in order to get smashed. So if that's that, yeah, I wonder if that's one of the actual crushers. It could be. Yeah. Huh. No, I will not. But I appreciate the invitation. Man, everybody's got such foul language. But then again, I'm one to talk. <laughs> All right, that's actually going to do it for the video today, guys. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button. It really does help me out a lot. And if you're new and you want to see more of this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification to let you know when I come out with a new video. I am trying to hit 100 subscribers by the end of June. If that happens, I am going to do a Q&A video for you guys. Once again, I'm Dom Strider, and I will see you guys the next time I go on an adventure to find that which time forgot about. It.